Hey, what's up everybody? So here I am today behind my Georgia State kit. I'm actually setting up for Georgia State marching band right now. Um, this is the room that the rock band will rehearse in for this week. Uh, I'm super excited about all of that. But while I was setting up my kit and deciding what kind of cymbal options and what I wanted to do for this season, um, I just set up my drums and I was just playing behind them just as the drums. I wanted to do something different and fun. Um, and I realized it's a drum lesson in itself here. So if you've ever felt stuck as a drummer, like you just, you're not coming up with anything new, you're not having as much fun playing, you're not doing anything that's really taking you any further in your playing, what you need to do is you're, you're at a point where everything's stagnant, it's stale, it's the same. You gotta mix it up. And a good way to mix it up and to come up with new concepts and come up with new ideas and open up your mind a little bit is to take yourself out of your comfort zone. So that means like, there's so many different ways you can do this, but that means basically, say you play a five piece kit, one snare, two toms, floor tom, kick drum, you got a hi-hat, two crashes and a ride, take away two of your drums. Just play a snare and a floor tom or a snare and, and a high tom. That instantly changes everything you can do fill wise, that instantly changes everything you can do um, Tom wise, and so you really have to be creative to come up with interesting and cool parts on a smaller kit. Now, another thing, and like what I'm doing here, is take away your cymbals. Your cymbals sometimes become a crutch. You know, you can go over to the hi hat, you go boom, 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 boom. But if you take away that hi hat, you got to put that right hand somewhere else. You got to find a new tone, you got to find a new something to do, and so eliminating the norm is something that can get you out of that rut. It can get you out of that, I'm stuck, I don't know what I'm doing, I wish I could do something new, I wish I could do something fun. Um, so do something fun. And like, I do it all the time. Um, now I, I have more options at my disposal in terms of like cymbals and drums than most people do, but still, even if you don't have that, you can still have fun and change it up. You know, your ride's over here, Put your right over here. Work on that left hand. Work on that left hand lead on the right, you know? Your crashes are right here. Put them over here. Work on the, the, the back and forth. You, you gotta really just come up with ways to switch things up to make it more interesting. Now, I'm not saying a five-piece kit is boring in any aspect, but sometimes if you feel like, if you're happy with where you're at playing-wise on a five-piece kit that's normal, and you sit down behind it, and you don't think like, oh, what, this is what I can work on, then sometimes you need a little something to, to boost you to the next level, to say like, oh hey, now I'm behind this kit, there's no cymbals, and I've got a double kick pedal, and five drums to work with here, what can I come up with? The first thing I did was work on my double bass, because um, I don't feel that's one of my strongest uh, suits as a drummer. I've, I've played a lot of single pedal in my life, and I can do some cool double, double bass stuff, but not to the degree that I'd like to be able to. So. Instantly, I was messing around with double bass stuff. It wasn't, um, it wasn't something that I would normally do when I sit behind a kit because normally um, I like to do more hi-hat work because I like to have the open and closed hi-hat. And so you need to find what it is for you that'll take you to that next level. And I really think that just taking away your cymbals for a little while is something that can really open it up. I was working on a lot of rudiments around the kit, doing flams, flam accents, flam taps, paradiddles, paradiddle diddles, uh, a lot of five stroke, seven stroke rolls. Um, so like, when you don't have cymbals, you don't have that distraction. You're not like, oh, I gotta play the ride. No, 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 play the drums, work on, work on rudiments across them, come up with new ways to use the tones of each drum to create something cool. So. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to put this microphone over there and then I'm going to sit down and just, I, I'm going to record what I do. Um, I don't know how much of it I'll, I'll include because I'll probably jam out for like 30 minutes minimum, um, even though I do have to set up. But um, yeah, so I'll just record some of what I do and some cool stuff, uh, probably some mess ups because there will definitely be plenty of those and um, just have some fun. So. Try it out in your kit. If you do a video like this, drums only, or a special setup or something because of this video, definitely tweet it at me and I'll check it out. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. 